DIY backdrops are so popular these days and I recently did an artificial boxwood hedge wall using these amazing panels that I got from amazon.com. I will be sure to leave the link down in the description box below. But I love the way that they came packaged. It was like four boxes packed on top of each other and um, I was really careful with opening it up. I was I ordered enough panels to do a 10 by 10 wall so I was kind of concerned if all of the panels were able to fit in these boxes but to my surprise they were and they were so wonderfully packaged. Um, I just absolutely love this greenery faux wall and I'm going to show you guys how to DIY it so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to remove them from the boxes in order to let them, I guess, retrain their shapes. And it's not that they're packed down, but you just kind of need to pull them apart and let them air out. So that's the first thing that I did. I kind of separated them. And then once I did that, I laid them in the pattern that I wanted to create for my 10 by 10 backdrop wall and it turned out absolutely i'm telling you guys this greenery was so beautiful i love the fact that it was so full it's very very full because some of the backdrop walls that you get the greenery is not as full or that uh, it just leaves a lot of empty spaces and i wanted to lay it out to ensure that i didn't have that and I did not. There was no fallout of greenery in the box or anything like that. So I just carefully formed the pattern that I wanted to create in an open floor space. And we actually did this as a part of Lux Academy. So if you guys are interested in joining the next one, I will leave my link down below as well. So here is what it looked like after we formatted the entire wall. And we actually had an extra panel just in case something was wrong and we needed to you know, change it out, but that worked out absolutely perfectly. Now that I was happy with my design, I used these um, zip ties that were included in the boxes to zip tie all of the individual panels together. And this was so, so super simple, you guys. I remember seeing these and feeling so intimidated and it is no reason to feel intimidated. You just, you know, kind of lay out the shape that you want, the, the height, the width that you want. And then once you get that, you just flip the panels over where they are and just simply zip tie them together. It is that easy. And these zip ties are in green. So I really like the fact that they were in green because it helps to mask where those are tied together and they just have the little hole on the back where you zip tie those together to create the wall. Now you can put this on like a wood panel if you wanna make it more sturdy. But for me, I decided just to zip tie those these together and roll them up when I'm finished using it so that it will enable me to try travel a lot easier and to store it a lot easier and so I'm just sharing with you guys this is it this is all you have to do I mean this is one of the simplest uh, DIY backdrops that I will probably ever do on my channel and it has such an amazing impact
So once I had all the pieces zip tied together, we just simply zip tied them to the pipe and drape poles. And you guys um, have seen me put together this in my last video. If you have not seen the last video, I will link that down below so you can see how to put it together. And then I added the balloon garland and it made such an amazing impact. It was so gorgeous for this baby shower. I cannot wait to share everything with you guys. Now, one of the things that I did do after I got it all put together I went behind the backdrop wall and I just pulled pieces in tighter so it would look uh, very seamless and so that's one of the other things you want to do once you get it all zip tied together and it turned out absolutely amazing again I will leave all the links to where you guys can purchase this down in the description box below and stay tuned because I will re be revealing the baby shower that we designed this backdrop wall for in the next video and it was actually a part of the hands-on Lux Academy so again I will leave that information down in the description box below as well thank you guys so much for watching be sure to follow us on IG on, and Facebook in order to stay in touch. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers.